Descending stairs is a challenge for Elizabeth Philippas. Her coordination and balance are unstable. The disease is called ataxia and causes the slow destruction of brain cells in the cerebellum. Elizabeth Philippas's disease is caused by a genetic defect called SCA3 and affects approximately one person in 10,000. So far, there is no cure. This is why the European Commission now supports the research project Euroscar. In a first effort, scientists have created the world's largest database with 3,300 patients. This collection of data will be essential to conduct further studies. Elizabeth Philippas is one of the patients taking part in the Euroscar development study. Thomas Klokita from the University Hospital Bonn tests her coordination abilities on a regular basis. The data will help us to understand how the illness develops. Patients normally notice the first signs of ataxia in their 30s or 40s. I started to belly dance in 1998, but then my trainer noticed that I had problems with my balance. This was the moment when I decided to have myself tested. The risk of inheriting the disease is 50% if you're a direct descendant of a carrier. Elizabeth Philippas knew about her risk as her mother and grandfather had also been affected. Mice at the University Hospital Tübingen provide scientists with an inside view of the disease. They discovered that the gene defect is also active in other parts of the body. However, it only causes the destruction of brain cells in the cerebellum. Could this phenomenon open the door for a cure? Professor Riese, who coordinates the Euroscar project, is optimistic. The blue color shows us where the gene defect has been activated in the body. We can see the activity in the cerebellum in certain cells. Here they are marked blue. And in fact, these are the cells that are dying both in the mouse and in the patient's brain. This means we can possibly develop new medical treatments which enter the brain cells and help to cure the disease. As there is no cure at the moment, Elizabeth Philippas does not have too many options but to support the scientists in their efforts to understand the disease in every detail. This means she also comes regularly for a magnetic resonance scan. Images of her cerebellum will help scientists to understand if and how her brain is changing. During the Euroscar support, we discovered substances that also occur naturally in celery or parsley. In cell studies, we've shown that these substances can stop the destruction of cells triggered by the gene defect. Using these substances, we should be able to conduct clinical studies with SCA3 patients and possibly help to increase their life expectancy significantly.